Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. I wanted to show you really quickly how you could create a watch list in Market Chameleon and then some of the neat things you could do once you created your watch list. The first thing you want to do is create a new watch list and give it a name. Over here you just want to give it a name so you could identify the group of stocks. You could either do a certain industry, a sub-industry, create your own index. Sometimes what I do is do an analysis and I want to see how the this group of stops will work out so I'll do something like my top picks for the week let's say for example so I'm gonna put my top picks for week of whatever then you want to designate it is it a is it a stock or an options a watch list we're gonna do a watch list for stocks I started entering in symbols here but the way you would do it is if you want to enter multiple symbols you just do common delineated so that's Apple Google, Netflix. If you have a list of stocks somewhere, you could copy and paste it in there. Then just hit save. This will create your this this will create your new watch list. So my top picks for the week over here. You could rename it, delete it, or save it as your default, which will be the first watch list that pops up every time you come back to your watch list. If you want to add another symbol here or multiple symbols, you could do it over here. Add multiple symbols. You just click this open and do it the same way just comma delineated if you just want to look at one symbol for example just go in here and let's add Facebook just select it over here and then that will pop into your watch list here if you want to delete it just remove by clicking on that X this will give you a, a really quick view this will store when you added it the date what the price of it is the stock was at the time you added and it'll keep track for you so if you come back in a week a month you'll see how those stocks perform since you added it into your watch list also you have um, the historical performance of these stocks for 52 week high 52 week low how they're doing versus the 20 day moving average 50 day or 250 day moving average over here you have important events dividends, earnings, you can look at how the options are doing, open interest or any news on those stocks. If you want to see all your watch lists that you've created all together, just pick all and this this will populate all the stocks in any of your watch lists. We just could go back. Here's my top picks for the week. Just come back here. Once you created this watch list, then what you might want to do is put them through further analysis or take a look at different filters um, with it inside the platform let's do an example here for example let's go to news if we want to see latest press releases let's look at the filters here and I'm just gonna just to make it easier I'm gonna switch it to table view and let's look for um, any news in in our stock watch list so let's look at all all my watch lists put together so these are all my watch lists. These are all news for all my watch lists. If you want to just pick one of them, let's do here my FANG stocks. That's in here. Here's my top picks for the week that we just created. So then, then you filter out the news and you could just open it up and read it this way. And this, these are just company press releases when they communicate any important information to the general public or to the investors. Then these are the press releases that we're, we're picking up. Also, for example, let's say you're doing any of these screeners. Let's say you're doing a stock screener and you want to see, um, let's do for an example, any, any stocks that are maybe 5% above their 20 day moving average, you know, 10% above their 50 day moving average and so on might want to do uh, that uh, stocks that are maybe above their resistance breaking above their resistance now you filtered out all these different stocks then you want to see well are any of them in my watch list so you could go in here and say let me see any of them none of them in any of my watch lists so you could unselect that if you want to add them to your watch list you click on this little add button over here so this you could added to any one of these watch lists that you've already created for example we'll just put my top 25 and then you could add it in there 
this will add that symbol here or if you want to create a completely new watch list uh, with with these symbols you just click new watch list and right from here you could just give it a name you know my new watch list breakout give it a name add it and now you created a new watch list right from the screener and that's how that's how easy it is to create watch lists and keep track of what you're doing while you're while you're moving around the website same thing over here if you want to then go say look at cover calls or credit put spreads you could come here to the credit put spreads and start using filters let me look for positive theoretical credit put spreads and one um, historically high theoretical win rates then it starts to narrow down credit put spreads in all these different stocks and let's assume you just want to see stocks in your in all your watch lists then we narrowed it down this way um, if you want to just see in your top one of your watch lists let's just go to the one that we just created my top picks for the week and then nothing showed up for any of these let's just release it just to make sure and there you go they're they're all in here so that's how you create create a watch list keep track of keep track of important events news um the performance since you added them and then move around the website using the filters to find opportunities thanks everyone for watching and see you next video